Hey, Sarah, someone wrote in the newspaper that many car license plates in New Hampshire, USA, carry the motto, live free or die. What do you suppose uh, mottos to signify Singapore would be? How do you mean? Like, you know, uh, what mottos will surely say a lot about Singapore? Uh, like the minute you see the motto, you'll know, ah, that's got to be about Singapore. I have a few to suggest. Let's tell the listeners, shall we? Okay, let's start. Motto. Freedom. Only 3% want it, so who needs it anyway? Now talk about the success of limiting freedom to the point when even the craving for it is retarded. How can this not be about Singapore? Motto. We are always right, no matter how wrong we may be. For sure. Motto. We may be Singaporeans, but we have Asian values. So now you see how ridiculous that sounds. In fact, more insecure than ridiculous. I mean, what is wrong with Singapore values? Motto. Courtesy is our way of life. Now where did we hear that from? And why is it still here? It's showing us up badly still. Motto. Whoever said surprising Singapore, it should be miraculous Singapore. The way we police our state at night, no one ever thought that it looks like curfew or a ghost town. So long one, uh, this motto. Yeah, but never mind. We've got to send a clear message to the world and to our own people that even when it comes to mottos, we are unique. Make that more than unique. Motto. Beautifully miraculous Singapore. Nothing can be too much if passed from the top. Because God is merciful. Because you did say from the top. That's why he tried to console us that retrenchment is not a dirty word. And we, the digits of this almighty economy, are consoled. Motto. Say yes. It's the way to the top. Speaks for itself. Heaven is just a compliance away. Motto. Money is power. Um, we're not sure about this one, Le. Not because we don't think it is so, but because, you know, it might get people to realise that knowing it uh, connotes knowledge itself to be a greater power. Um, uh, yeah, but since digits don't really think, we'll leave it at that. Uh. Motto. My country, rich or poor. That is an actual editorial headline. Now, which other countries dare say that, or vouch that they have said that, or are capable of saying that, or will want to say that, or hope to say that, or voluntarily risk everything to say that, or mean it when they say that, or have even ever thought of saying that? Motto. The newspaper headlines scream, but our citizens know better. Uh, yeah, we got no sensationalism one. In the headlines, you can read, Are foreign workers taking away local jobs? Others may think, Gosh, are they? But we, the citizens, we always know better. We are often spared of having to read the 5,000 word text that follows such hefty topics. I mean, if foreign workers are really taking away local jobs from our citizens, there will definitely be widespread panic and discontent to render the report as one detrimental to the national and social security of our nation. And we know such things can never be allowed one. Therefore, the newspaper can ask big alarming questions. We just sit back and flip the pages. Motto. We are the best ruled nation in the world. We must be. The president of Indonesia gets jeered by protesters. Even the queen in England had been the target of unkind projectiles. But never do our statesmen here run the risk of being badly received in public and never during election rallies. Watch the way our lips curl with pleasure when we say never, but never. Motto. Singapore, an oasis of calm in a tumultuous region. That's an actual headline in the newspaper. Of course, we owe it all to our strong social, economic and political stability. And Ko Bak Song may have regretted about a certain repression, but, you know, in view of the wonderful calm we have as a result, may we say, please repress us more. Motto. Live free? Possible only with money. 
Yeah, let the rest of the world be deluded. We are practical Singapore. We always know better. Well, screw you shitheads, we're the best!